Good morning. Welcome to Porsche. I am Patrick Long. This is a pretty exciting morning. I'm excited to be joined by two special guests. Our first guest, the father of the GT3, director of model line at Porsche, the GT model lines, Andreas Perninger. Andreas, come on up. Very slippery. Good morning. Good well, morning, everybody. Hi, Pat. Welcome to California. How are you doing? Doing great. It's been a couple days since uh, we released the car online. This is the first time we're going to see this thing in the flesh. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this car means a lot to me. Uh, it's the 50th birthday of its grandpa, the RS 2.7. It was 50 years ago that we um, showed it to the public for the first time. And it, this car meant a lot to me personally, because when I was a little kid, being five, six years old, I had this poster on my bedroom wall with the Carrera RS 2.7 and I adored that car. And it influenced my whole life a little bit because it was the reason for the first 996 RS long time later when I was working um, to pay tribute to that car with the 996 RS. And I think now, another almost 20 years later, it's high time to do it again. And um, that's why we made this car for, and uh, we teamed up with the Sonderwunsch department in, uh, in Porsche. And uh, we looked at the old car and we said, what can we do to make the new car resemble the old car and still be modern, but remind and pay homage to the old RS 2.7. And, and that's, uh, what it, uh, that's the result of it. And uh, I think we should lift the veil. Let's see it. I mean, you, you made reference to heritage. I think this color speaks so much to the 27RS, the 50th anniversary, and really, I mean, the flagship of our start. Absolutely. Um, it's a pity it's not white over green, but um, there's not so many around still. This is an innocent looking car. On the other side, it's very radical, and um, but it has still this OEM, high quality aesthetics to it. And um, to me, it looks very much like the old car from the livery, pure white, an innocent pure white, the python green livery, the decals and the side, and um, it's just, um, it's something I could look at the whole time. It's, it's, it, it was one of the most challenging projects we ever had. This car, it's such a complicated machine, but still so user-friendly. And um, it's the, at most we could do to bring the best performance to this engine, to this GT3 variant. It um, has active aerodynamics, it has aerodynamic values like a GT3 race car, like the cars you've been driving, um, at full speed at about 290 kilometers per hour on the Döttinger straight, that's the biggest straight we have on a, on a, on a racetrack in Germany. Um, there's 860 kilos of downforce on the car. That's two horses sitting on the roof, if you compare that. And uh, we have a mono radiator concept, like in the GT3 R race car. That means we have one single radiator in the front, um, optimized aerodynamics, and um, we have the fire-breathing 9,000 RPM GT3 engine, um, which is revised for this thing. It has different cylinder heads, it has hotter cams, uh, it has more power at higher RPMs, and the suspension is uh, completely new. It is uh, featuring double wishbone front axle, it is featuring foiled-like, wing-like uh, wishbones and control arms, so uh, producing additional downforce. And um, yeah, and uh, that was a talk of the town, the wing. It's the father of all wings with a wonderful 911 attached to it. But we need it to produce these downforce figures. And um, yeah, and we think um, it's time, it's not the exact time now to be able to communicate lap times in the car, but you can expect uh, lap times that are really, really very, very impressive with that one. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it. Um, Kel Gruner, president of Porsche Cars North America, please join us. Good morning. Good morning. It's slippery here. That's when you need downforce, right? But I'm not going to have a horse sitting on me. So, good morning, everyone. The American market has had a love affair with Porsche and the GT model line. Tell us what's planned with this car and our user in North America. 
Absolutely. And first of all, a big thank you to Andy. Uh, I mean, he's done such wonderful work. The, the products, especially in the US market, are just loved. All the GT cars. Great job from the team in Flacht and in Weissach. Uh, and I know how much passion they have for those cars. And you can feel that passion when you drive the car, when you see it. Uh, that passion makes a huge difference. And I think that's also what appeals to the American customer. They have the passion for cars. That's why we all are here, right? And you can feel it in those cars. The GT3 RS is gonna be very special. I mean, just, just look at it and what, what it does. It's very special from the positioning. And we thought this is um, also something, you know, we could use to celebrate then the 50 years of Carrera RS. Very exciting. Um, Andy, tell us one part of this car that's your favorite. It's very difficult <laughs> because there's so many things we, we changed in that car in comparison to the predecessor. Um, I think the aerodynamics definitely stand out. Uh, it's purpose-built for performance. Um, the jump in, in, in performance aerodynamically-wise, the values like 860 kilos or 400 kilos at 200 kmh um, is really, really, really impressive. And the way this aerodynamic feels when you drive the car, it gives you so much confidence. It makes the car so easy to drive in the super high-speed corners. I mean, we can, we, can, we can be almost as quick or in some conditions quicker as a cup car on slicks in high-speed corners with a street-legal car. Just go figure. I mean, this is really an achievement which we're very proud of because we transferred motorsport technology directly into a street legal car like we never did before. Kel, everybody wants to know when, what is coming, how can I get one? I assume you're going to tell us we need a little bit more time, but I, uh, I can't wait. That's an excellent question. Now we have the attention of everyone here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be in spring next year we will see the car so this is actually the first one you see it not on a press conference but in real life we're super proud to have it here in monterey first time out there um, it was very important for us to have it here also for you for the american customer we will see them on the roads at the dealerships in spring next year and um, yes the wait times are probably going to be long so we apologize for that but you know with those special cars um, it happens well, Andy, Kel, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great morning. Thanks to everybody who's joined us. Have a great day at the Quail, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.